Welcome to Heart of Hope Annual Art Show, brought to you by the Amador County Arts Council in collaboration with the Amador County Department of Behavioral Health and Amador Speak, our local coalition for suicide prevention. Heart of Hope is an art show bringing together artists from all over the United States to celebrate the hope and perseverance of mental health awareness and suicide prevention. Please enjoy the tour of our gallery and then join us for a Q&A session in Zoom. Thank you. Hi, I'm Tamara Garner and I'm a licensed marriage and family therapist and a clinician at Amador County Behavioral Health. I started working at Amador County Behavioral Health in August of 2008. I've been an artist for most of my life and over the years began incorporating art into my therapy sessions or encouraging art as a coping and self-care skill for my clients at home. After a period of time of using art in private sessions, I approached my supervisor with the idea for an art therapy group. On May 25th, 2017, we had our first Share and Connect Art group. The purpose of the group was to use art as a path for engaging with others and processing feelings through art. Since that day, the group has seen a diverse selection of consumers engage and connect, learn to use art for health and wellness. The art you're seeing now are the art projects that line the halls of behavioral health from the group and other consumers of the agency. Art therapy can be used as a complement to traditional mental health treatment. The objective is to manage behaviors, process feelings, reduce stress and anxiety, and increase self-esteem. Art therapy can be a means of self-discovery. Creating art can help you acknowledge and recognize feelings that have been lurking in your subconscious. Art therapy can increase self-esteem. The process gives a feeling of self-accomplishment that can be very valuable to improve your self-appreciation and confidence. Art therapy can be a great emotional release, giving you a healthy outlet for expressing and letting go of all your feelings and fears. Complex emotions like sadness or anger sometimes can't be expressed with words, but making art may help you to do it. Art therapy can help with stress relief. Fighting anxiety, depression, or emotional trauma can be very stressful for you both mentally and physically. Creating art can be used to relieve stress and relax your mind and body. So find a place, put on some music and try getting out some paint and brushes, pencils, charcoal, or clay, and letting your mind let go and your hands create. My name is Vanessa. I am a wife, mother, grandmother, daughter, sister, employee, and I am a member of your community. I am also diagnosed with mental illness, and I want you to know that it's okay to not be okay. I'm here to tell you that getting help for your mental health is an act of courage, strength, and self-love. If you or someone you know is suffering, be brave, seek help, break the stigma. It takes a village to create connection and support resilience, and it takes courage to talk about mental health. We can all create more open and supportive communities by simply starting a conversation about mental health. Let's talk about it. Connect, reach out, inspire hope, offer help. 
your voice will make a difference. Together, we are the change. Tangles. There are shoulds that come from outside of us. Then, the ones we invent, all our own, that we call our integrity. We hold on to these absolutes as if they were, well, absolutes. The shreds of sails around us are signs, rags of our former selves. We look at all our things on board. We say we earn these. They are ours. They are, in fact, who we are. We know this isn't true. The truth is busy navigating among all our alternatives. What leaps of faith we make, we look back on proud. We sailed something alive once, maybe more. Left with our beaten bodies, our souls stir, waiting for resurrections that may never happen if we don't take the tiller, bring the boat about, trim the sail, head for wherever we really know our real harbor really is. Uncharted, but there, the guidelines from our splendid past, less tangled than imagined, and certainly not snapped.
I made one more deposit in my bank of broken dreams. So full of empty promises and hopeful in between. Another once upon a time small trails in the night. I'm addicted to what might have been in the early morning light. Mm. Mm. It seems another lifetime he lit up that darkened room. With all the eyes upon you like the rising harvest moon. You wore your little black dress, I strum my guitar. You look like an ingenue, I played the rock star. All dance till the players were through. So many stolen glances and a smile or two. It was over in a moment as the dancers moved on. Are scattering like embers heading home before the dawn. Mm. It was just another Cinderella midnight. Just one more shoe that won't fit. I know you will fade in the morning light. Looking forever after again. Mm. It was just another Cinderella midnight. Just one more shoe that won't fit. I know you. Hello, my name is Ken Baldwin. I'm a suicide prevention trainer for Amador County. I teach a uh, program that is called uh, QPR, and this training is uh, free for anyone in Amador County, and it lasts about an hour. QPR is a suicide prevention program. The Q stands for question. If you see something, say something. If you see somebody struggling with their life, talk to them and ask them questions. In fact, you may have to ask them if they are suicidal. If they are suicidal, uh, we uh, talk about persuading them to stay alive. And we talk about uh, listening non-judgmentally and persuading them to, to live. And then we talk about refer, we discuss referring, uh, letting them know that there are people out there who can help them and then give them uh, some information about uh, where they can go get that help. Uh, we uh, talk about the uh, myths and facts about suicide and suicidal ideation. We, we discuss the clues and warning signs so that, so that you can kind of see uh, if somebody is struggling. And we also talk about how to ask the question, how to ask, are you suicidal? If you want more information, please contact Amador County Behavioral Health, Vanessa Compton, for more information. Thank you. Thank you for attending Heart of Hope Annual Art Show Reception. 
brought to you by the Amador County Arts Council in collaboration with the Amador County Department of Behavioral Health and Amador Speak, our local suicide prevention coalition. This activity is made possible in part by the California Arts Council Estate Agency. Find out more at arts.ca.gov and keep the arts central to your country way of life by visiting amadorarts.org. Please join us now in Zoom for a brief Q&A session with experts from the Amador County Department of Behavioral Health and Amador Speak. Thank you.